Anastasios Triantaphilos, partner at Pistilios Triantaphilos and Associates. Many congratulations on winning Best Employment Firm and Best Energy Firm in Greece 2012. Thank you. I would like to thank the readers of the World Finance magazine and it's a great honour to receive this award. Thank you very much. How is the framework of employment law changing in Greece? The Greek financial system in both public and private sector has been scrutinised under the tremendous pressure of our European partners to install the necessary reform so we can sustain our feasibility and execute our obligations to our creditors. We have witnessed significant changes in the employment relations in Greece. If one should describe them in a nutshell, I would say that within a year and a half, employment law in Greece has changed more than it did for the last 20 years. Taking under consideration that employment in Greece is highly regulated by our, our legislation, the purpose of the recent transforms is to create a more flexible and manageable employment environment which will reduce the labour cost to the extent of regaining our competitiveness. The deregulation of the employment relations has touched some very sensitive aspects of employment, such as reduction of basic salaries, the flexibility of labour force reductions, and at the end of the day, the ability of each business to create an employment framework which will meet its own specific needs. So it's been a massive shift, but looking in more detail, what are the most important changes to employment law from a business perspective? Firstly, and perhaps more importantly, there is a clear tendency for massive reduction of the labour cost in terms of rationalisation of the salaries up to 22%. Within few months, Greek businesses will be able to reduce labour costs around the target 25-30%. to 30%. The restrictions of labour force reductions have been loosened, allowing businesses to operate only with the required labour force, where in the past the legal framework had imposed strict limitations in terms of layoffs. Now, employment reductions are more flexible and less expensive. In addition, we tend to abolish any sectoral collective agreement and shift the collective negotiations to the business level, where it is easier for both parties to come to an agreement. As a leading employment law firm in Greece, are you already beginning to see the effects of the new legal framework? Certainly. Our clients are rapidly adapting to the new employment environment. More than ever, it's much easier to manage both labour force and cost. Greek businesses will be able to meet the European standards and become once again competitive. Somewhere in the way we lost track in terms of competitiveness, but things will change soon. We represent large companies of both foreign and domestic interests in the energy, telecoms, industry, maritime and the leisure sector. Since those companies rationalise their operating costs, they will regain competitive advantages to compete on equal terms. So how do you think these changes might in time create incentives for foreign direct investment in Greece? Greece now more than ever is full of opportunities. Being uh, in a process of reforming our business environment and reducing unnecessary operating costs, we're becoming even more attractive to foreign investments. In addition, in Greece, there is a huge supply of uh, highly educated, well-experienced and specialised labour force. Since the last 30 years, Greeks have been educated abroad, mostly in the UK, Germany, France and the United States. We probably have the highest ratio in Europe of executives holding postgraduate and PhD degrees. From a strategic point of view, there is no better place in Europe to invest in the renewable sources of energy, such as solar and wind power. Our geographic position is a link between the West and the East, where we can channel the commercial needs of the productive East and the consuming West. By rationalizing employment costs, it is not hard to imagine the potential profit margins in the leisure sector, in a country uh, with such historic value where the summer period can be prolonged up to six to eight months a year. Nevertheless, we have no illusions. Reforming the employment framework is the first step, but still we have a long way ahead. We also need to establish an uh, investment-friendly and a stable tax system for foreign direct uh, investments. Clearly there are many issues to be dealt with in the Greek economy, but what's the potential for a long-term realignment or recovery? As I mentioned before, we have made the first but essential steps uh, to the right direction. A lot of uh, challenges are still ahead. We have realised, uh, though, that uh, we have no alternatives but to continue reforming. We need to exploit our advantages and start adding some value. It is true what they say that major reforms can take place during a recession. 
Those reforms are taking place as we speak and our target is to attract the funds to develop again, mostly by direct uh, foreign investments. So finally, any words of advice for foreign investors who might be thinking of putting money into Greece? We need foreign investments as a valuable fuel of our economy and I am certain that those who will invest in Greece will be awarded with high returns on their investments. Due to the immediate need of funds, there is a huge privatization program in process where utility companies, public stakes in real estates are in offer, which can create, in my opinion, great opportunities. The market prices in almost all business sectors are still dropping, making Greek companies and real estate extremely attractive. Take a look uh, to the controversies of the southern east Mediterranean. On the one hand, it is full of potential synergies which can be created in a unique business crossroad and on the other hand, apart from Greece, there is a massive political risk uh, in the same region. One who will invest in Greece can operate in a friendlier, less expensive and less regulated environment and exploit the opportunities of doing business in the most strategic location of Europe. Anastasios Triantafilos, thank you very much. Thank you. It was an honor.